T-Rex and chickens. Now, this is a story that is, is a little older, but it keeps coming up and you see it re-reported and re-reported in the various journals around the world and the news stories. And people ask the question, are birds and uh, dinosaurs really that, that related? And the fact is, you know, if you look back in the records now, we have, we have reports where a T-Rex in the United States, 68 million years old, happened to have not a bit of DNA, but happened to have a bit of protein attached to a bone. And that piece of protein was able to be analysed. And they were able to then compare that about with protein sequences from vast numbers of other uh, animals that are alive today. And as it turns out, T-Rex are not more closely related to, say, alligators and crocodiles. The, the animals that are alive today that are most related to T-Rex are domestic chickens. Who'd have thought? So the chicken that you're eating today um, is, a, is a, as close a relative to the T-Rex as anything that we have on the planet. Um, and of course, chickens, we've got, what, 24 billion chickens on the planet. They've done very well. So you know what? I think the dinosaurs' genetics uh, have won out here and their, 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 their ultimate relatives, their ultimate descendants, i.e. the domestic chicken, uh, is still alive and amongst us even today. So that's an interesting piece of research that keeps coming up and pe people keep asking about. So that's all I have for this week. Don't forget, if you want to see any more, go to my website, neilhermes.com.au uh, and check out the various uh, uh, holiday options that we've got for the year and bird watching trips we have for the year and have a look at the various other blogs that we have on this site. Happy birding. <laughs>